Damn, like stuff. Instead of fighting one of them, then she tried to have sex with one of the guys in there. Like, she got him by the neck and started licking him. Please, 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 can I please get some water? So I'm, I'm thirsty. You're thirsty? Yeah. Okay. I'm really, I'm really thirsty. It's getting hot and humid in here. On June 1, 2024, a woman named Emily Batchelder walks onto a property and enters through a back door which had been left unlocked. She begins to argue with the residents, claiming that this was her house and not theirs. While she's arguing with the women, a man tries to gently push her out of the house when she allegedly grabs him by his neck, licks his body, and begins to hump him. The police were then called. When an officer arrives, he notices a woman who matched the description walking back towards the house. Ma'am! Oh, hey, sorry. What's going on? I didn't know. What's going on? I'm just, like, really wanting some water, to be honest. I've what's been kind of out for a long time. So what's going on? Just, you're thirsty? What's... Yeah. So, what's going on? What's going on with this film? What's that going on out here? Are you okay? Do you need medical attention? Maybe, but to be honest, these guys, I just went up to them and I asked them for a drink of water, and that's... Gotcha. Going through a lot. Gotcha, going through a lot, exactly. Sorry. Just... First off, you got any weapons on you? Ma'am, you're not going to be able to walk away right now. Last time, I'm going to tell you to stop walking. All right, you're not under arrest. You're being detained until I figure out what's going on, man. Have your other hand. Is it okay if I get a drink of water in the car? If I had one, I would give it to you. Mm -hmm. Just walk back over this way. What happened to your wrist? I've been going through a lot. Oh, no, I'd like to know about that. This is... Um, I don't know. I'm just, just like, really way. thirsty. Yes, well, well, you must come take a peek at you. So, do you want medical attention? Yes, please, just for the water, though, only, but not for these guys, because they were kind of mean to me. Gotcha. So just go ahead over here, I'll sit you down. Dial 25. Keep on. We're over here. Where's my vehicle? Yes, sir. You have to do with one white female detained. I'm not under arrest right now, but I gotta figure out what's going on. Over here. Do you have any drugs, knives, guns, anything like that on you? No, sir. Just grab a seat, or right, I'm gonna figure out what's going on. Which one's better? Whatever. Is the far right one okay? They're both exactly the same. Thank you. What about the far middle? The middle is the least comfortable. Okay, that's fine. Is this okay? Yeah, absolutely. Let me make sure you don't fall. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, thank right. you. So what's your name? Emily. Emily? Emily what? Look, Emily, right now, I'm out here because they said you walked in their house and that you hit them. I don't know if that happened or not, but you got to identify yourself to me because I'm investigating a potential crime, all right? If you don't identify yourself, then I do have to arrest you. All right, you've already disobeyed my orders twice. I'm not trying to make this into a big deal if I don't have to, but I need you to cooperate with me, all right? So what's your last name? Oh, are you with anyone? The sheriff's office. Can I get that out? Not yet. You're still the same. All right. I'm kind of scared. Is what? it okay if I just stand out and just you wait sit for right some there water? until I get all the information I need? All right. Can Can I please have a drink of water? I don't have any water to give you. All right. What is your last name? 
Just a drink of water, please. Um, I'm really super thirsty. I've been through a lot. Do you see these, like... I saw scratches, but you have to cooperate with that. There's also, like, puncture wounds and stuff. Wow. Alright. So, you're not gonna give me your last name? Is it okay if I just try to get some water first? Because I'm scared. I need your last name now. You're fishing to identify yourself? Alright, be back in there. Back in there. In the vehicle. I know, I dropped it. You're going back in there. Um, is it okay if I get a drink of water? Not yet. Alright. Sir, you kind of dropped something. On the ground, you break on your foot, on your bottom left foot. I see that, and you're going in there. Oh, careful. And you're going to stay in there. Be careful, there's a nice package right there on you. <laughs> Sorry. I'll, I'll be, I'll cooperate. Right? Sorry. Okay. I'll be right back with you in a minute, all right? Okay, so. I haven't even turned on you. All right. I'll stay hot, don't matter. All right, so I roll up. She's clearly, I don't know. She's not telling me anything. I told her to stop walking. She talked to me, walked away, told her to stop walking, kept walking away. I'm like, I don't want to rest of her just if I don't have to. But anyway, then. I call for a walker over. She refuses to identify herself. Then I have to like literally shove her in the back of there while I'm detaining her. She tries to get back out again, so I gotta shove her back in. She then tells me I have a nice package and still refuses to identify herself. And she says she just wants some water, and that's all she wanted here. But per the call notes, as you read. So So let's go find out what's going on. Yeah. Alright. So, who here is best equipped to tell us what the heck is going on? We, they don't, you know, I'm a friend there, they live here, so. Gotcha. Okay, so, so she was just roaming around the backyard, and then she entered through the back door, and then she kept saying that this is her house, and telling me to get out, and then she answered from the front door, and then that's when she attacked my cousin. Which cousin? Yep. <laughs> Alright, so, what did you do to you? Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, she grabbed him by the neck. She grabbed him by the neck? Yeah. So it said in there you thought she might be trying to seduce him? Yeah. She, she was trying to lick him. Yeah, she was licking him here and she was behind him. Try to hump him? Do you know who this is? No. no. So she was in the backyard. She came in the house. And yeah, that's, she, she just opened the door and she walked in. So open, open, just opened the door and walked in yeah. and then started attacking you. Yeah. yeah. So he's... I mean, he doesn't speak English, she said, but yeah. attacking him how? She grabbed him by the neck and... Then started licking him. No, he started licking him when he was here. So started licking him outside. Yeah, because when they came out, uh, this, I guess he went to her, her room, and she was trying to go to her room. Then when I, we were out here, I was with her mom, and I seen him that it was leaner, so she could get out of the house, and she was trying, trying to hug, hug him. He said, babe, I love you, and... And then she was just trying to push him, away, push her away, so she could get out the house. Okay, you don't, you don't need to. Yeah, you know, she's yeah. in your damn house. You can push her all you want. All right. Uh -huh. So like, don't don't worry about that stuff. But so she goes into the house first, mm -hmm. and she doesn't start going after him until he gets outside. Or she gets outside her. Well, like when I, because I was sleeping when she was in my room, and I asked like who she was, and she wouldn't respond to me. And then we go to the living room. Um, she tells my sister to get her house that's what she said and then she starts looking at her like she was gonna beat her up or something and so then my cousin decided to take her outside take her outside how like, carry her outside push her outside no she, she walked by herself we were like get out and she's like she just, yeah he, when she I, walked downstairs yeah when i seen her she was like this little sand like this and he was just walking around here and then he's he stopped and that's when he was she got behind him just went like this and turned around he tried to lick him in the hair and he just tried to push her away and to make her stop. Gotcha. Because we, well, because I was with her, we were in front of her house and we seen her by the bridge and, and 
she said like, oh, who's that? I don't know. Some kid, but she was like down. And then she was walking on the edge. She stopped right there. She was talking. I go, probably just some, some little kids talking over there. And then we didn't see her no more. And then we, we came outside. We were still talking. And then when just like a couple of minutes, then we seen them coming out from the door. So I go, we are. And we, they got scared. And we said, we don't know who's this. And that's when we noticed that she's all wet from like the, the, the dog. The river, and she was she got all wet. Mm-hmm. So it's just that they don't know her. And she was saying, I live here. And we said, hey, she started trying to talk Spanish. And so then she went, then uh, the girls went inside. They got, they got scared. They locked and she was trying to go inside. And they just, she said, oh, Melissa's here. And she was this, the religious was a group. I know they're there. But okay, then she came over here. We seen him again. She tried to go after him, and again she tried to touch him, and she was just like trying to push her away, but she just like, on him. Gotcha. All right. Then the next question is: Is should we determine that she's mentally fit to face charges? Do y'all want to press charges? <laughs> No, it's just, they're just, no, we don't want, no touches, but they're just a concern because she looks like she's on something. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. She's, she's, she's probably on meth right now. Mm-hmm. More than likely. She's hallucinating and all this stuff. Or some combination of, like, ecstasy or something, so. Yeah, then we tried to keep her here, so that's when we were calling to, so but she won't uh, get hurt. She could fall, fall and she could drown or she could... I don't know, something could happen to her, so we just try to see if I can come faster and, and help her out. Gotcha. Yeah. All right, uh, sit tight real quick. So you're going to tell me your last name? Batchelder. Batchelder? All right. All right, everyone, so your name is Emily Batchelder. Can you spell that for me? Yeah, what's your last name or your middle name? What's that? What's your middle name? What's your middle name? Yeah, real quick. Emily. Do you have a middle name? Yeah. What's your middle name? Yes. What's your middle name? Emily Ann? All right, Angelina. Have you taken any drugs today? Right now, you're not going to jail. I'm not pressing charges on you for just to give me a false name, all right? I just need to know what we kind of care you need. What kind of drugs do you take today? I didn't know. What's the last time you took a drive? Um, long time ago, if any. But it was just from a gas station. Is that bad? But that's not really anything. That's like what? What gas station? The one at Dunkin' Donuts. The one at Dunkin' Donuts. And what? What did they? What did you take? I bought it a long time ago. It yeah. was a, a vape. Thing. It was a vape thing. Gotcha. All right. But I didn't. You're not in trouble, all right? Like, we're going to have an ambulance come out here and take you. Know, this ain't your house. That's, you live over there. Angelina, you live over there. This is not your house. That's not my house. Said she bought something from a gas station a long time ago that she took. Her eyes are pinpoints. She, she's on that. Like, oh, she be a hard to Yeah. I got a lot of Del 25.
We have EMS responder up at some marksman act. So I had trouble with them last night. We tried to refuse to take a marksman. We went back and forth for like an hour and then they finally they came. Because they're like, well, he doesn't have any medical complaints. I'm like, yeah, it's cool and all, but that's the whole point of the marchman. He kind of no longer gets to decide. So, I, I was gonna tend to do this. So I'm like, this is a 10 15 all day long for the resistance. I shouldn't your name, but like. <sighs> but if she's like not in her right mind. No, but with them, like, because like, again, if they wanted to press charges, it would be different. Yeah. If they wanted to press charges, you'd be going, but like, because the marsh match rules only apply if they're like incapacitated, if they're still being an asshole. But if they don't want to do nothing about it, then. Say what? You find out who she is? Yeah. She's last known residence was your neighbor over there. Mm -hmm. Um, not a great house, not a great not great people over there. Mm -hmm. But what we're doing is we are getting an ambulance and we're sending her to the hospital because she is high as a kite to go detox. Mm -hmm. So while the officers wait for the ambulance to arrive, they begin to scan her fingerprints since she did not want to verify her information earlier. Okay. You want from your ID? We just got a scanner real quick. I'll give you some water. Yeah. It'd be a lot easier if you just told us who you were. Because you're going to the hospital, you're not going to jail, just so you're aware. First one you want, I believe. Can you have the water first? Because I'm about to die of thirst. Yeah, you need like. the finger first. Right yeah, here. I need your finger first. You don't don't get out. Can I please have a drink? Finger first. Your, you'll get your water. Just which one? Finger first. Left, both. Left one for me. Both. The left one? Yep, just face me. Okay. 24, 10, 4, 10, 20. I'm 10, 4. Oh. It's actually right first, I believe. 18, hours. Hang on. Just stay there. Stay like that. Oh. This one? Give me your left one again. Okay. Just the right one. I need a free hamper. I got a free hand on my right here. I can still drink it. Okay, give me a hand. Uh, uh, I just want some water, sir. I have it right here. You're not getting on call till the ambulance gets here. Oh, what about the water? As soon as we're done, scanning okay. your finger. Left one. Left one. I'm going to give you the water. It's right here. Touch your head back. Have a little more. Absolutely. Sorry. It's all good. I'll be back to give you a little bit more, a couple minutes. This thing never works for me. That's her though. It's probably turn back on again. So it brings it down here. You live in Zephyr Hills, right? Can I have a little more? Yeah, so just leave your struggling right there. Just...
I don't live there. You don't live in Zephyr Hills anymore? Mm -hmm. When do you last live there? Can I have a little more of that? Like, can I have like the whole bottle? Yeah, I just can't give it to you all at once because then you'll like gag on it. Sorry. It's all good. A little bit. Emily, real quick before we close the door. You're not in any trouble right now, okay? But I do need to know what you took today, just for, for medical reasons, okay? You're going to the hospital. It was the gas station vape that I bought. You bought a gas station vape? Mm -hmm. Okay, have you taken anything else, smoked anything, no. drank anything? No, just... Like I said, you're not in trouble, but medically I need to know, right? Because if you fall out, different things means we have to act differently. We have to treat you differently. Okay, so I need to know if you ingested anything today. Besides that? No. Besides that, nothing? Nothing. And how long ago did you get that? So you bought it a while ago? Just the water bottle and the Delta 8 and like some coffee. The Delta 8, so it was like a THC vape? It was it's, it was from the gas station. Okay. It was like like like, like a like a weed pen, right? No. No. Alright. All right. Well, it's got like a barcode on it, so you can scan it because they sell it at the gas stations. You still have it on you? No, sir. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Go ahead and move your knees real quick. I'll give you some more in a little bit. Hey, that's a weed pen, right? Yeah. But um, this is a... Uh, this is definitely more than weed. Yeah. EMS arrives and the officer begins to explain to the paramedics what had occurred earlier. The officers thought she'd just be taken to the hospital, and that would be it for this call. But Emily decides to do something that's about to make everyone's day a whole lot longer. So, we have no idea where she's from. She comes to this house. Is she in there? No, she's in here. Okay. We still want you to go across that yeah, bridge. Yeah, I appreciate it, yeah. Uh, so she's yelling at imaginary children. She walks into the house in a numerous bedroom, starts fighting one of the girls in there. She doesn't live here? No, we have no idea where she lives. And she doesn't know these people? At Not all. at all. She thinks, she's, this, she thinks this is her house. Okay, so she came in and started She came in, uh, to try to fight one of them, then she tried to have sex with one of the guys in there. Sweet. Like, she got by the neck and started licking him. Um, her needles are pinpoints in low light. Um, she says she only, she only took, like, a Delta 8 pen, but we think it's bad. Well, she, uh, handcuffed? She's handcuffed, yeah. Is she violent? Not anymore. What's her name, do you know? Uh, Emily. Hello? How are you?
So no arrest history or nothing? She has nothing, nothing in health account. No warrants. Oh, well, yeah, it might be a password. Yeah, it could, I'm sure she's got stuff password. But she's got no warrants, so we stunned that her. You said she was violent with you guys initially? No, not with us. She was, uh, well, she kicked me in the dick, but like, that's when I was pushing her in the truck. She didn't want to get in there, because I was like, yeah. Uh, that's what, she was, got, she tried to fight one of the girls in that house. And uh, then she get grabbed the guy by the neck and started licking him and trying to seduce him and whatnot. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, this is definitely a sign to me. Yeah. Medically wise, not wrong. Yeah, yeah, she's a little oriented. When she wants to answer the questions, she answers them correctly. She just seems like there's something going on upstairs that it's just yeah, she's, in her own world. Yeah, yeah she's just. still going to put her in our marchment. I mean, uh, is, your, is it a marchment or a baker? She's going to be a marchment. Alright. Okay. Marchman X. She told us that she just an unknown suspect. Her uh, her people's a pinpoint. She's, she's talking to people that aren't there. She believes that this is her house. She was walking and sitting in the creek. If you want to do a I don't care what you want to do, you know. We think she needs to sober up more so then. We think she needs to sober up more. I think this is more of a psych thing. Psych. Than a drug adjusting type of thing. I mean, even, even if it was, it's not affecting her to the point where she's not answering questions appropriately. I think there is like a, a psych issue here where she's just completely like out of it. Maybe she's off the bed. Or I don't know. That's what I mean. I mean, by the way, she's going to go to the hospital. I just, uh, because she, she doesn't quite meet our criteria for a baker act that she's not like an immediate violent threat to herself or others I mean, do, do what perhaps what about but i go into the the house and trying to fight people the random house you know what i mean yeah, that's why i think it's a substance thing for <laughs> for hallucinations and just yeah, like, i want to like she'd be going to Right now, for a bird bat, if they want to press charges, but they want her to trust fast. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if this is a drug thing. But they're not meat bait rat criteria. Like she told us she half of what she talked. Right. She told me she didn't take anything, but she also told me. It could be. I mean, I'm sure it probably is. It usually is, typically, you know. So I don't give a shit. If you guys want to march for that, that's fine. Point. I said at that point, if we don't do Marchman Act, then she's just free to go and she's going to be walking down the street doing this all over again. She wouldn't fit under a big one? Oh, I mean, no, she doesn't meet our criteria for a big one. What is the criteria? Basically, it's for like I'm just curious. Imminent, imminent threat. Imminent threat. Basically, so exactly. herself or others and unable to determine for herself. So that's what, that's what I'm trying. I'm just having trouble understanding because. If it's an uh, imminent threat for herself or others, and she breaks into these people's house. Yeah, so they're not in any actual danger. She's already left. She's off the property. She's leaving. Now, because you guys have to get her, right? She was already off the property. Okay. And walking yeah, around disoriented that. in the field when I found her. Okay. Then I brought her over. She, I don't know if I was arrested for resisting all the shit she did with me. But over there is when we brought her over to find out what she actually did. But she was over there on the other end of the field oh, just walking, there. walking in circles. Okay. Yeah, I'm just trying to understand how... how your system works with what basically, basically our baker acts is essentially there's a gun placed in your mouth or on somebody else's head and it's immediately abandoned you can kill yourself or somebody else because like right now like the only way we could we could stretch a baker act to say suffer from neglect but that itself would be more of a stress than the marchman act where she's clearly still does she took some stuff and she lied about it back and forth yeah well we're waiting on the bls to get here so they should probably be here in about 10 minutes that yeah, there was a. I was honestly surprised she was still here when I got here because I came from uh, Sefner, like by the okay. casino. Yeah, that I came from the district. I was literally sitting at the fairgrounds in my in my actual zone. Yeah. When this came out. Oh, there we go. Do you have a date on her? Uh, she was born in '98, so so 26. Yeah. All right, go ahead, pop out, get the cuffs off you. Thank you. How fast should I go? As fast as you're comfortable with. You're not in any trouble. Like I said, you're not in trouble. You need help. That's what we're trying to do for you, all right? Just go ahead and turn around for me.
Like they, oh, then what's this? This is the Marshmallow. So you are doing something with it? Yes. I thought you meant like criminal charges. No. Under a Marshmallow. For what she intoxicated with. So she, she, she admitted to Delta 8 that she bought a month ago, and then she said some other stuff that she just didn't say what, and then she said nothing at all. But she's hallucinating. So we're taking a second picture with no medical complaints? She's under a Marshmallow. She does not need medical complaints. She is unable to determine for herself whether or not help is needed. Right. So she's she's a, under a mark. If she's a danger to others, why am I going to be in the back with her? She's not. That's why she's not under a bake ramp. If she's a danger to others, she'd be either going to jail or under a bake ramp. But then okay. she goes I, we did this last night. Question. I don't know why we're doing it again. Uh, I didn't see you last night. No, I, was I know, but that's question. question. It's not that we're doing it again. It's specifically if it's a Marchman Act and there's no medical problems. Right. It even states in the Marchman Act it's law Florida state that statute you and our SOP transport state. them. No, it says that we make the decision. And you just don't want them to throw up in the back of your truck. I don't like want them to die. They're, they're not going to die. They're not going to die. They're going to the hospital under a Marchman. Aren't you CPR trained as well? They're going to the hospital under a Marchman. So what if it was one of your buddies? I'm going to get this. I'll, no, I'll, I'll speak. We're taking her. Okay. We're not refusing to take I, her. I appreciate it. But the whole thing is, is you, you're constantly, you're the only one who constantly calls us for March minutes. No, so we can get transferred. This is my second time. Well. And actually, last night I was just there. My partner did. Well, the thing is, under a March act, SO is supposed to transport. Her Negative. Florida law. No. It's written down. I'll pull up the Florida State statute. Okay. We reviewed it after we met with you guys last night. All right, so what, are we, what is the plan here, guys? She's going we're to get transported. We're not. We're not. Because Thank you. We're having this weird Thank argument you. thing going okay. on here. So. Are we doing our jobs? I appreciate it. Yeah, what's, what's up, Emily? Is it okay if I just walk home? Sweetie, if I had to walk home. So, so they placed you under something called the Marchman Act, which means that we have to take you to the hospital for you to get evaluated. Can I get... Sweetheart, listen, you have to get evaluated by a doctor. By law, they are putting you under a Marchman Act which means that you have to go there and get seen, and then the hospital will determine at that point if they will just let you go or not, okay? Which, if you just Rob, answer, if you just answer, Rob, if you just answer their questions no. appropriately and act no. accordingly and, and well behaved, then you probably should be on your way pretty soon, okay? So these lovely ladies are gonna take you over to the hospital, and you're gonna go get checked out real quick. I mean, we already, so, we already called him early. We'll, we'll help you walk over to the stretcher, okay? I, believe, I, I agree with that. I think that you guys have had a problem. We don't really have a choice. I know we have not. Can we, let's There's, just get this Come on, Emily. Let's go. Before things get worse. Well, then I don't know what's please. going on. Emily, I've please. never had fire rescue for you. Okay. I'll go get the stretch. I'm going to get the SO. She's already broken. Try to go into their house and do whatever. We've done hundreds of marks. That's something that they need back here. Back here. I, I, you know listen, I don't know. So that, that's like, something between what that's them and I don't know. That's their that's their deal, so. I can't be the one to determine all that. Yeah, no, I can't. It just doesn't make sense, you know? You ready, Emily? I'll hold your hand if you want me to take you over there. I'll walk with you. Yeah, I'm on the right right there. Why are you getting all like yeah, stuffed up again? Yeah, we're talking before. We're trying to help you out. And that's why. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You guys, you guys, you guys, you all right, Emily, you're gonna go. You're gonna go in the back of the ambulance, okay? Back of the ambulance, Emily. You got you. Yeah, I got you. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Take her on the follow. What's that? Why was she in handcuffs? Oh, because uh, she was originally. I know what happened. Oh yeah. So my boyfriend, he's been drinking a lot. Go ahead and sit on the gurney. He's like an alcoholic, and he's been trying to kill me for like two weeks. So I just been running around. Bosses at work, Thomas, Nico, and Melissa. Please have a seat. 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 Please have a seat.
Thank you. Put your feet up here. After Emily was put in the back of the ambulance, she decides to jump out and make a run for it. Same guy. Get her. Come get her. This is why I said she's go with you guys. Have one exactly. What now? Oh, oh, oh. Go get her. How did you got it? Hey, car. Oh, I got her. Stop. Emily, stop. All right, so. Jesus Christ. Alright, so. Did you just let her Sorry, I'll get back in. Is that okay? That's what we're gonna do. I'll help you. We're gonna march them after at the jail. Yep. Wait, wait. Yep, we can just connect to the jail. Can I get back in? I got one on. Nope. I got one on. I'm just scared of those guys in there. Are they valuable? They're. Just... Yep, I'll march them in her at the jail. Yeah, just make it a resist. Yep. Do the false name. Yeah. Because. Can I talk to your friend? Okay. <laughs> no. I'm just scared of them because they stopped you guys kind of like here. Yep. No, you don't get to. Is that okay? You don't get to. Yeah. No. Is that okay? Because no. Uh, I was just so scared because of where you guys come from. When I got buckled in, when I got buckled in, they just started talking kind of like. Here. You guys are fine. I'll just march with her at the jail. Yeah, she's going to jail. So you guys are good. Thank you. Move. Oh, not playing this. Next time you stop, you can go face some people. You can make an alert, Hillbro. But wait, can I take a break? Step up inside. I, I didn't mean to disrespect you guys. Sorry. You got him? Yep. Yeah. Seriously, can you get some Step medical help? Inside. I'm really scared of my boyfriend. Step up inside. I'm like so scared right now. I told you. Step up inside. Okay, okay, I'll step up inside. You ready? Hang on, we, we, we got a double puffer. Okay, I'll help you. That's good. Guys, I'm sorry. Or not double. Okay. 6370. Are we going to We're going to jail now. Why, I'll pay the rent. Stop. Stop. I already paid it though. Okay, 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 Stop pulling okay. against okay. the seatbelt. Okay, I won't. I won't. I promise. Thank you. Okay, so I will stop with all the stuff. So let's. Keep... So again, so would you resist times two, and then, or resist times one? I don't know. But... Yeah, resist times two, and then false name times one. False name. Yeah, because again, she she told me your name was Emily. There, she's giving your last name until afterwards. And then once we got her in there, already back there, already 1015, that's when she gave me her actual last name. And then we took the whole extra thing to verify all of it with her. So after she refused to give it to me, detained her. Gave the name with no middle name, no date of birth. Then that's when you came here with your rapid ID. So I'll be the first resist without false name. Then we'll do a second resist once she ran out of the back of the damn ambulance. And who's, just, who's taking her to the race or whatever? He's taking her to Orient Road Jail. Yeah. All right. So do me a favor, bro. Can you just sign this and print your name or whatever it is? I'll just have you witness because this is kind of a, a weird situation. So. so how did she get out of the back of the ambulance? Did they like turn their back or something? No. They, before they even closed the door, she just fucking undid the belt and took off. It's just like the guy who jumped out of the back of the ambulance going down the road. Yeah. Uh, yeah you remember that? Tony, he lives out here in Delta 4 as well. Yeah. Tony somebody. So, he went head first out the back of the ambulance. She was waiting. Was right right here, she was looking at you guys to like, turn around. Just so to witness me. I'll have him witness it. This is just saying that this is, you can put deputy or whatever you want to do over there just so I have some type of documentation that we're not going to be taken. Oh, well, what's your, by Terry? 
Yeah. So I should be signing on. So that should be her name, correct? Uh, no, because she's no, not she, able to do it for herself. Under your custody, you guys have to sign. Yeah, because she can't do it for herself. She's not necessarily abusing. You guys are taking okay. it. So okay. that's why. Yeah, yeah, I got you. You can just sign it right there, and then I'll have him witness it, and then I'll witness it. And, you know, I got you. I got you. So. Yeah. Oh, While the officers finish up paperwork, Emily begins begging the radio to speak with her. Hey! Hey! Hey, wait! 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 Wait, please! Please, can I ask you something? Can I tell you something? Please, I'm sorry. Hey! I'm really sorry. Can I tell you something? Can I just listen to a man for once? I'm like really sorry about that. Please? Can I please just listen to a man for once, please? I'm trying. I just, can I say sorry? Can I? Five minutes tonight. Please, can I just, can I just say I'm sorry about that? And can you guys help me get back home? Because I don't really, I really need help. Please, can one of you, can, please? I'll be 10 for him and take my other radiation. Please? Lord God, please can... Guys, I'm sorry about that. Please, I just want to listen to one man. That's it. Just one. I'm scared. I'm really scared. I just want to listen to one man. I don't trust more than one man. I'm scared. There's also a man that I also don't trust. I'm just scared of him. I need to listen to just one man, please. Just for a little bit. Until I'm married. Something, I don't know. Please. Please. Can I just listen? Can you guys let me go? Are you guys? I'm sorry. Please. I just want to say I'm sorry about that. And can you please get in here and help me? Please. Please don't let me go. Please, please, please let me go. I'll, just let me go because I'll listen, I'll get, I'll get some medical help. I'll go to the hospital and I'll go to jail. Please, I just need help. I just want to listen to one man. Please, 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 please. Hey, I'm just really sorry I didn't listen. I should have just listened. I'm sorry. Please, can can I just listen to one one good, nice cop? Please? I just want to listen to one good man talk to me. That's it. Sir, please, can I just go home? Please, sir. Please. Please. I want to listen to just one good man for once. Please, can I just... Can I just go back home? Please? Please? Do you mind? Do you mind listening to me? Can I please just go home? Please, if you don't mind. Can, can somebody come in here and help me? One good man? Just one? That knows something good? Because I'm scared. Because men are just freaking me out. I just want to hear one out. Because I'm scared. Can you let me out of here? Can you, can you guys let me out of here, please? Please? Hey, hey, I don't have any water in here. Hey, sir, sir, do you mind if I get some water? Sir, hey, can I get some water? Cause I'm scared. I'm really scared, please, sir. Please, can I just drive? Can you drive me at the nearest park? They've done it before where I live. Please, where'd you go? Hey, wait, wait for me. Get in here. Do you want to come in here? Um, that would help a lot, sir. Do you want to give me 
some water? Can you help me get some water? In the unit tonight, four speed, up at 37. At 371, maybe we. Please, please, can I please get some water? Please. Please, sir. Please, can I get some water? Sir, I don't have any water in here. Please, I can't move very well with these handcuffs. Sir, I need some help. I want to just listen to one good man, please. Please, somebody with some, like, respect, because I'm scared. And I'm sorry about earlier. I don't really know, but I, I would love some water because I just, I really need help. I just want to go to the nearest park, please. Can I please get some water? Hey! Hey, can I please get some water, please? Can I please get some water? Hey! Hey, please! Please, sir! Please, can I get some water? Excuse me, guys. Please, can I get some water in here, please? I just want some water. Please don't go. Please don't go, you guys. Hey, 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 wait, I don't have any water in here. I just want to talk to a good man, please. Please, please, can I get some water? After many, many, many attempts at asking for water, she finally gets the officer's attention. Stay there. What's what, what's all the I'm, screaming about? I'm thirsty. You're thirsty? Yeah. Okay. I'm really, I'm really thirsty. It's getting hot and humid in here. You okay? I can crank up the AC no. for you. Can I please get some water, please? Can I, can, right, can, I, can, listen, can I go listen. to the nearest park and you can drop me off? No, no. I'm really scared. Can can you can you give me your hands? I, I want to fix your yeah. cuffs so you're not yeah. twisting. Please. Okay. Please just fix them nicely. Yep, I'm going to fix them nicely. Listen, look at me in the eyes. I will fix them nicely. But if you're not nice, I'm not going to be nice. Okay? Can we can we make that deal? Understood. Okay? Understood, sir. All right. We have an understanding, correct? That so you're going to loosen them for I'm us? I'm going to loosen them for you. But if you start acting up, it's going to be a different story. Can I get some water or is this bad? Hang on. Is this okay? Because it's really hurting me. Well, so I'm trying to fix it. So I'm trying to, I want to fix it so it doesn't hurt you. So go, go ahead, put your knees that way and face, put your hands towards me. All right. <laughs> Why are you typing it? I'm not. I'm not I haven't even done anything yet. Look, I haven't done anything. Okay, the more you twitch, he has to, if you twitch, it's going to get tight before you go. Stay that way. All right. I got to be able to loosen it. 
Okay. You loosen it, right? I'm yeah, loosening it. Can we have some water? You just gotta hold still while he loosens it, all right? Mm, that hurts. It's good for you. That's good for you. You gotta, gotta stop moving. Get, like, Look, a see that? Water. Hold still. See that loose? Yeah. See how that just loosened? A little bit. For just that like one. that. See that? I can only loosen it a little bit for you, but we're gonna make more comfortable. Well, you can't be thrashing around when we do it, or else you're gonna tighten them up when we're trying so, to loosen them. So, listen. Ooh. Wait. Listen. Hang on. Please. Stop. Please. What, what did I say? Can I please have some more water? We'll talk about water after this. I want to make sure I want to make sure this isn't hurting you. The water, the lack of water is hurting me. Well, you already had water. No, I don't. Where to go? You drank it. No, I want more. I'm like really thirsty. I've okay. been scared for a long time. All right, how's that feel? Please. That feel a little better? Please. Honestly, too much. Wait, wait, no, it's okay. I know. It's okay. I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it. You're leaving it. I'm gonna do the other one. Okay. Please. A little bit of water. Just a little bit of water, please. Oh, hurry. Sorry. All right, so these are oval, they're not circle, okay? So how do you I? You can't twist your arms. Okay, sir. All right. Sorry. Don't twist your arms. It's gonna hurt if you do, okay? All right, sit tight for a minute. So I can get some water first? Give, it, give us a second. Well, I'm really thirsty, I'm scared. Please tell me you have hand sanitizer. I do. Yo! Nothing. Can I get it tonight? We're not taking. Nothing. I have a good joint. Alright, I'm gonna buckle you back up. You don't have any water in here? I don't have any more water. Okay. Sorry. I gave you my last bottle. That's what I was telling you. You already had some water. You're going to get some water when we get down there, okay? You can get water. You can go to the bathroom. Talk to the doctors. Do whatever you want, okay? I'm going to turn up the AC for you. <coughs> What's that? <coughs> so, am I going somewhere? Yeah, my car's working. Can I add some, please? Can I have a 47 for I can't. Please. Can I have a 47 I can't share my water with you. Please. Just. Emily, you're going to get water when you get there. Please, can I just have one sip, though? You'll get water when you get there. I already gave you my last bottle. Emily was charged with two counts of resisting an officer without violence and giving a false name to a law enforcement officer. If you haven't already, make sure you check out our last video and don't forget to like and subscribe, new videos uploaded every week.